Welcome, welcome. Today, we're going to talk templates, crotch templates, and why we need them. So many of you have our armhole templates and our neckline templates, and you know how wonderful they are, and what they do is they save you a lot of time. So we're just going to make the same comparison now, but we're going to do this with crotch templates. So here's the process. You don't... the the crotch templates, the armhole templates, the neckline templates, they don't tell you what you like, but you're, you can take what you like and transfer it and cut it out of those templates. Same with the crotch templates. So step number one, we're going to look at these photos. We're going to fit the pant. Now this video is not about pant fitting, but we've done so many about pant fitting. You can go to our um, channel, our YouTube channel. You can search for pant fitting within, and, it, and just so many will come up many 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 just simply go through that process and when i say simply it really is simple you're making it way harder than it is pants are very simple to fit we just have to understand the concepts we have to understand length circumference depth that's it go through that concept once you have you're going to deconstruct the pant make the changes i would first make the changes um, this next picture shows you some of the changes that have taken place. But what those changes do is they change the back crotch. They change the angle of it. They change the shape of it. So what you're going to do is make those alterations, put the pant back on, make sure you like it, and then deconstruct the pant. And when you deconstruct the pant, you're going to have it flat. Cut 3 8 inch seam allowances off all the way around, and you're going to take the pant back, and it will be flat on the table. So you've just got your, your body plus 3 8 inch seam allowances. That's where we want to be. Once we're at that point, um, this photo is showing you that that crotch, the red line, the crotch, is now been altered to what you want to repeat on down the road. And we've got four different templates in this pack. We've got your knit pant front and back. We've got your jean front and back. We've got your legging front and back, and we've got your woven front and back, okay? So that's the cool thing. We've got all these pants on there, and, and you can make others if you want. There's enough plastic in there that you could make another one. All right, so then what we do is we take, this last photo is showing you, that we take your altered pant and put it on the template. Don't cut out the template ahead of time. Don't use the template until you've gone through that fitting process. Then you're going to lay it on, you're going to cut it out, and use your size guide as what's closest to you, A being your waist, um, A being your waist, B being your crotch. Use the size that's closest to your size. You'll see that it will be close in there, but it probably won't be exact, so don't cut the templates out until I've got my pant, my altered pant, ready to use. Then lay it on the templates as this photo shows, cut it out, and then reuse it, and you're done. People have always said to me, well, do I have to make a, a, a sample muslin every time I make a pair of pants? No but you have to have a template. You have to have a pattern to choose for. The templates come with a ring, so you can put them all together so that I just have mine hanging on the wall, and when I need whatever fabric I'm using, whatever legging or whatever I'm doing, I just lay it down and I trace it from waist to crotch. So the template goes from waist to crotch. The rest of the pant you know, is, it can be easily altered after I've cut the fabric. That crotch template can't be altered once I've cut the fabric. So this is a great opportunity to really save a, a massive amount of time and frustration also. We want to sit down, we want to sew the pant, we want it to be ready. And these crotch templates are the way to go. All right, so in below, if you have any questions, just post your questions and I'll come back in and answer them as need be pertaining to the templates. The goal is happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.